It has been a hot minute, but Vencord, a Discord client modification, got a bunch of new plugins that will make your Discord experience better. Now, I'll have Vencord linked in the description if you need to download it if you haven't already. It shouldn't be hard, but you guys surprise me sometimes. Anyways, if you successfully install Vencord, if you go to your settings, you should have this Vencord section with plugins, and the first three plugins that I'm going to talk about should apply to everyone watching this video, because it's about YouTube. Yeah, editor, that wasn't funny. Can we just cut that? So you might be on Discord with your friends on the YouTube Watch Together activity because you want to see Mr. Beast get tortured on live video. But before you get the satisfaction of seeing Mr. Beast being impaled by a spear, you get an ad. Well, that's where the plugin Watch Together Ad Block comes in. But when you enable this plugin, you no longer have to have ads of the government brainwashing you into not hitting the person on the bike on the side of the road. Now, the next YouTube-related Vencord plugin is called D Arrow, which also is a browser extension which you probably might want to use. And this isn't anything new, but it's something that I've gotten accustomed to and I think you should use because a lot of you might be on some loser YouTuber's Discord server where there are video announcements, or your friends might just be sharing your YouTube videos. And here's the thing. A as a YouTuber, the thing with YouTube is that you have to have clicky titles that people will click on, and you need to have thumbnails that people will instantly get their eyes attached to. But with the D-Arrow plugin, automatically YouTube videos will convert their normal clickbaity title and thumbnails into something that's a lot more descriptive. Which, by the way, you can turn off by pressing this button. But my YouTube video of Discord is absolutely disgusting, where I talk about Discord and their bot development channel. Changes, the title and thumbnail gets crowdsourced by people who have watched the video and is something that is more accurate. So now it says Discord is now requiring bot developers that have a premium subscription to do it within their store. They kind of missed the part where, you know, Discord charges you a big fee on top of that, so you pay more money to Discord. But regardless, it gives you a better and clearer picture. And if one of your non-existent friends sends you a YouTube video on Discord and you try playing it inside of Discord, it might give you an error. And using the Vencord plugin Fix YouTube Embeds, it should fix this error and work like a hot damn. Just like how Vencord can make your Discord experience better, this video's partner NordVPN can make your internet experience better. Now, you might get bored of what TV shows and movies are available on your streaming platform of choice, but by using NordVPN, you can pick and choose which country you want to connect to, which unlocks a bunch of country-specific TV shows and movies for you to unhealthily binge for hours on end. Is Discord's upload limit bothering you? We'll use NordVPN's MeshNet to transfer files to anyone without any limits on file sizes. And if you use my link in the description, nordvpn.com slash no text to speech, you get four bonus months with a two year plan. But this is where things get a little different. You also get a 20 gigabyte data voucher for NordVPN's new product, Salie. If you go outside for once and travel to a different country, you probably know that data roaming fees can be expensive. Like here in Canada, they charge $15 for 10 megabytes, not gigabytes, megabytes of data. And Salie saves you from being completely ripped off and offers cheap roaming plans that you choose and set up and activate before you enjoy your well-deserved vacation. You can try NordVPN risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee at nordvpn.com slash no text to speech. All right, thank you, NordVPN. Bye-bye. I love you. So that's all of our YouTube-related plugins, but the next three plugins I'm going to show you fall under the category of features Discord will probably steal and add to Discord. And the first plugin summaries is a plugin for a feature that Discord did add, but according to Discord in their own article about this feature, this feature is currently an experiment and is limited to a few servers. But surprise, surprise, it turns out AI summaries are available on every single Discord server. Now, when I first enabled the plugin, it didn't work, and then after a day or so, it started giving me AI summaries. But when you enable the summaries plugin, you should have this button up here to show you summaries, and from there, you can now view all the summaries of your general chat, which are summaries of topics that you don't really care too much about. World domination. Linux people. Eliminating Nikola 567. Now, this next plugin Discord will probably add in a couple of months. I'm putting money down on it. Let's say you get a voice message that you want to cherish forever. <laughs> And with the Vencord plugin voice download, it allows you to download voice messages. Actually, now that I think about it, Discord might not add this because people will be like, no, my public voice message is getting downloaded and saved by people. But even without this plugin, you can download people's voice messages. So if you send something on Discord, assume people are saving and downloading it. But the next Vencord plugin that Discord is probably going to add to Discord is the Friends Since plugin, which once you enable this plugin and you click on someone's profile, it shows you that you've been friends since whatever date you added them as a friend. Why would 
you need this information? Great question. Anyways, moving on, sometimes you don't want to add extra features to Discord, so these next three plugins are meant to improve existing Discord features or make Discord less annoying. And the first quality of life improving Vencord plugin is Custom Idle, which allows you to set the time before Discord goes idle. And if you enable this plugin and go into your settings, there's a little bit of customization. You can set the amount of minutes before Discord will go idle, so anything between 0 and 60 minutes, and if you have it set to 0, then you will never go idle. And then you have the setting of remaining in idle. When you come back to Discord and move your mouse, it'll still show you as idle until you change your status back to online, which I already know people are just going to use this remain in idle thing, you know, you're... Now the next quality of life Vencord plugin is called Mast Link Paste. But you know how in Discord you can make bold text by putting little asterisks around it? Well, in Discord you can do something called Mast Links, which convert words into links that you can click on, which will go to a YouTube video or whatever website you want. Now to do this markdown formatting, it's a little bit of a pain in the rear end, because what you need to do is you need to put the word that you want to turn into a link in square brackets, so video in square brackets, then you need to put in round brackets, paste in your video link, close the bracket, then press press enter, and now you've sent this message with a link. If it wasn't clear, this is really annoying to do. But if you enable the masked link paste plugin, what you can do is you can copy any link that you want, go into Discord and select the text that you want to turn into a link, paste, and it'll automatically do the formatting for you. I don't know why Discord hasn't added this yet, but my goodness, it makes it a lot easier to send messages like this. Now, 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 I know you. You probably join a lot of Discord servers because you are so socially awkward that no one wants to talk to you. Well, you know that if you join a whole bunch of Discord servers, going through this whole animation of this onboarding pop-up, it just wastes my time. I just want to talk to people and be told that I can't communicate like a normal human being. Well, there's a Vencord plugin called No Onboarding Delay. Now, if you enable this plugin and you join a Discord server, look how quickly you go through. When I press join, this is how quick it takes to go to onboarding. Boom, no animation, instantly to it. It skips that delay animation thing, and if my editing budget allows it, there will be the six side-by-side -side speed comparison. Now, if you made it this far, you're probably a hardcore Discord nerd, or you forgot to close YouTube before going to bed and this video is playing while you're sleeping. Regardless, I'm going to show you some nerdy Vencord plugins. And let's just start with the nerdiest of them all. It's called Show Hidden Things. Now, this plugin does a lot for you. Basically, if you're not a moderator on a Discord server, you can see if people are timed out, if invites are paused, and you can see mod view. Now, those are kind of nothing compared to the last two things you can look at. With this Vencord plugin, you can disable discovery filters, which allow you to find servers that don't meet the discovery criteria. And you can also disable disallowed discovery filters, which means you can go into Discord's discovery and find servers that are not allowed. So just to show you what I mean, without this plugin enabled, if I go to Discord's discovery page and I type in the naughty word and I press enter, nothing happens. And if I do a little bit of thinking and I type in a different word, if I press enter, it'll show me zero servers. But with this plugin enabled, you will now see that typing in this word will result in a thousand Discord servers that are just available in the server discovery. They were previously flagged and you couldn't see them, but now you can. Which also means if I go back and I type in that naughty word and I press enter, it goes right through, baby, and... Oh. God, what have I done? All right, all right, let's get that off my screen so I don't have to censor anything. But the next plugin we're going to talk about is called Secret Ringtone Enabler. But when you enable this plugin, you get Discord's secret ringtone every time, unless it's some sort of seasonal event like Halloween or Snowsgiving. To be honest, it's a special ringtone, but it's not so special when you enable this plugin and you kind of ruin the fun. Are you a Discord mod with a 56 inch waistline that got an auto mod notification on your Discord server? That's just me. If you want to figure out what the conversation was about, why did the this brain rotted individual say skibbity. Well, what you have to do is you have to do some CSI Miami. Sh you gotta take note of the time, go to the channel and search through all of the messages until you find the perfect time that he said skibbity. With the Vencord plugin auto mod context, when you enable this plugin, in an auto mod message, you now get the link to jump to surrounding messages, where if you click on it, it will automatically take you to the conversation that this message was sent in. Now, this final Vencord plugin is for the nerdiest of nerds, the privacy nerds. Because inside of Discord, if you select text and you write Right click it, you can search with Google. But do you hate Google? Well, I don't because I'm definitely not being held hostage by them. But what you can do is you can use the Vencord plugin replace Google search. And when you enable the plugin and you select text and you right click, you can search the text with Google, DuckDuckGo, Bing, Yahoo, GitHub, Gondex, AOL? I feel like most of these are useless except maybe GitHub and Wikipedia. Anyways, gamers, one of my friends just got executed for not liking Google. I love Google. Anyways, bye bye. I love you. Mwah. Eric, no!